So friends, I'm here at the Little River Adventure Company uh, in Fort Payne, Alabama. And I'm gonna talk to Giorgio Terragasa. He's the owner and uh, we're gonna check out what he does here. I just spent the day uh, riding around here with him and uh, it was amazing. So I'm gonna show you what it's about. Where are we going, David? <laughs> well, this is a Little River Adventure Company, and Giorgio, he's put some tracks together out here. We're gonna go check them out. Uh, he's got like five tracks, and put them all together over one. Right. Put together the best ride for us. Let's take a ride. Let's do it. So here we are, all headed out to the uh, trails, and uh, I got at the back of the line because I want to be able to see what's going on here. So that's David in front of me, and I believe that's Wayne in front of him, and I can't remember the other guy's name, Chad and Giorgio. Had a good night uh, camping last night. Giorgio put on, uh, as he said, uh, you know, he had some, some food, uh, some chicken and some pasta salad and some other things. And we all sat around a campfire. And anyway, they had uh, a live band with some music. So we sat around and talked a little bit and then we went on back to our campsite and started a fire and had some more fireside chats. It was all good. Got a good night's sleep. Georgia's got a really nice uh, setup there at the Little River Adventure Company. It's a good place to go if you want to do some moto camping and, and then come out and enjoy these trails. Yeah, last night at the uh, campground, they also had, uh, in addition to the live music and the food, they also had some giveaways. They had a, uh, a raffle. So you got a raffle ticket when you came into the place and almost everybody got a prize um, David was able to score a skid plate for a t7 a Ten Tenere t7 uh, Yamaha motorcycle so I don't know it's probably worth you know three or four hundred dollars um, not sure what he's gonna do with that since he doesn't own a that bike but uh, We'll see. I got a nice little Yamaha beanie uh, to go on my head. And I used it last night because it got a little cold. It got down to like the 30, probably 37 or something. It was a little chilly. But uh, that was nice to have that. And I got some other swag, you know, stuff. Um, but the, they also gave away a whole Panera set for a Tenera T7. And the guy that won it, Wayne, right up there, uh, he just bought a Tenere T uh, C T7, so it's going to be perfect for him because, I mean, that's that's a nice, it's like a thousand dollar, you know, door prize right there. So good for Wayne. Glad it went to a guy that that can use it.
think we're gonna stop a little bit and take a break. <laughs> so I was trying to make a decision as to which way to bring you in or not. This, this is trail five. So to go that way, we, we go back to my camp. Come out, but there's one creek crossing, a little deeper than that one, about that deep, to go back home that way. But there's the two picture spots that I was telling you about. So we can go here, hit these two picture spots. Okay. And then make a decision. It's too easy, too hard, we want to go through the water. We can always go back up the way we can. That is like for a four wheel drive. Yeah, if it's the water's got a solid bottom to it, it ain't no big deal. Yeah. No, that's gonna have a that one is gonna be a solid bottom crossing, easy, yeah. you know. How big? About this deep. Oh, that's fine. And yeah, we did that yesterday. Because we don't have to have the gravel. Right. I hate that gravel. Yeah. You know? And if we go this way, we're not gonna have no gravel. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the gravel either. And the three pretty spots, I mean, that was that was packed though. Yesterday it was all loose, and we were just sinking that's in the last it. That's what they did on that side. Yeah. And, and I'm talking to the board of tourism to stop. I said, look, you guys don't realize that the <laughs> biggest tourism attraction you have is what's not paved. Yeah. The more you pave these roads, and the more you put gravel in these roads, you're gonna run away the biggest attraction that you have. You know. Yeah. Because it's drawing people from far away to come here on the motorcycles, the jeeps, the mountain bikes and the stuff. And, and they, they, you know, they've closed some of the trails. They've done the right thing a while back. This was open to like anything. And yeah. they would trash it. ATVs and dirt bikes would just come here. You know, beer pile. Beer so pile this big. So eventually they shut it down. So okay, you got to have a tag and insurance. Oh, good. Yeah. So now you can't come here on a four-wheeler or anything like that. Nice. No, they're nice roads so far. I like it. All right, we're gonna go up here, and there's uh, apparently a place to take a good picture. Let's see what that's about. Wow, when they were describing these roads yesterday, they made it sound like it was a little bit more technical. But it, it right, I'm not feeling that it is. I feel good on these roads so that's kind of a relief you know there's always that anxiety when I go out because you're on roads you don't know and you're like oh what's it gonna be like am I gonna be able to do it am I have to have the skill you know that's what makes it fun too ah this must be the picture stop So what river is this? This is Little River. The Little River. And it's just below what they call the, uh, where, where the West Fork and the East Fork of Little River join right up here. And then it goes to the falls. So in the summertime, this is a popular spot. There'll be like floats here. People will be, you know, just swimming, feeling. <laughs> I just want to show you kind of some of the bikes that we're riding on today. So this. It's called a Super Tenere, Super Tenere 700. I don't know if it's a 700, Super Tenere. Big bikes, bigger than my Africa Twin. And it's handling these trails just fine. And then we've got, uh, this is the new T7. This is Wayne's bike that uh, I told you about. Wayne won the Paneers last night. So he's kind of excited about that. And then we've got uh, Giorgio's uh, T7. And this is one of his rentals that he rents out. And I believe this one, he actually has it lowered a little bit. So if you're a taller rider, you can uh, you can ride on this. Of course, we got my Africa Twin, David's KTM 1090, and then over here is uh, I believe it's a DRZ 400. So as you can see, every bike is a little bit different, set up a little bit different, but to each his own, and that's what makes it fun. I'm I'm having a blast today. I don't know about you. So you turned your, uh, you, you worked with your computer. Yeah. So I, uh, you got your back end sliding out more today. Exactly. So I played with the off-road mode. I've got my traction control at about a four. And I think I'm going to take it down to a two. I've got wheelie control set at two, so it gives me a little, little bit more uh, front end lift if mm -hmm. I need it. 
and then I've got traction control, uh, ABS turned off. Mm -hmm. So the ABS turned off lets me uh, slide the back end around when I go around the corner. So I'm, I'm having fun on the bike, probably the most fun I've had now that I understand how to set it up. You, uh, you got me doing the same thing over here. When we take off from here, I'm gonna turn some stuff off and play a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been needing to do that. I just, you know, now that I'm comfortable riding the bike, I can start playing with it and, yeah. and dialing it in, you know, yeah. to where, I, where it needs to be. Cool. And these are the trails to do it on because they're, they're not, it's a good mix of yeah, and it, it really has good traction on it, too. Let's yeah. take a ride. Let's All right. It. All right, let's take a ride. So these roads, have, they're a little bit more technical now. Um, as you can see, there, there's a lot of flat rocks and, and gaps in the road. So, yeah, you're having to look where you ride a lot more but it's all fun and uh, I'm super thrilled that I got I think you know my, my bike is tuned in a little bit better than it's ever been so well, there's a nice little creek crossing You see there it's like more technical trying to navigate that stuff nice <laughs> oh man I can you can probably hear me breathing a lot of anxiety about this just because it's different I've never ridden in like it's, it's constantly changing so it's got me on guard it's really interesting the surface is just constantly constantly changing now I'm in mud see so there's some little puddles and then back to gravel again it's just man it's fun but it's it's got my heart rate up Oh, that was squishy. <laughs> and here we are arriving back at Georgia's place. Looks like there's some other fellows waiting to go for a ride. Here I am with uh, Giorgio, and uh, Giorgio, I want to talk to you a little bit about your business and tell me a little bit about Destination Yamaha, kind of what, what all that was about. But, you know, I watched a video with you and uh, T-Dub, and I'll, I'll post that link down below, and you can see the video if you want to know about, more about Giorgio's background. But he's uh, got a lot of background with uh, motorcycles and just a, a, a nice history with, with, you know, and a passion for what he does. So. You should check that video out but tell me a little bit about first of all destination yamaha what was this grand opening event all about and, and what do you do here yeah so we are the little river adventure company mm -hmm. uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, make a partnership with yamaha uh, last september we opened our doors last october uh, we've been increasing our fleet of bikes yeah. we have uh, four xt250s two tenere 700s uh, this weekend we're having our official you know, open house with uh, help from Yamaha, help from Law Tigers. We've had a great turnout, we've had lots of rides. So, uh, Destination Yamaha is a marketing arm of Yamaha. Basically they want us to showcase their products, you know, rent their products. So we do yeah. rent all of these units. Um, and, uh, you know, we, yeah. 
I mean, you have some amazing trails here. I rode them today on my Africa Twin, and I'm just gonna say they're they're not like the Tennessee trails. It's a constant mix of gravel, then dirt, then a little bit of mud, and then a little bit of sand. It was just all over the place, man. And, and creek crossings. I mean, you got this amazing. So right. we're very fortunate day. to be right next to this 15,000 acre federal park that has amazing. Yeah rock formations, the largest canyon in the U.S. east of the Mississippi, is 600 yeah. feet deep. Um, we have 26 miles of federally maintained WMA roads, the roads that we rode today. Right, yeah. And, uh, and they so you offer- gotta be, you gotta be licensed, you gotta have a driver's license. You or, gotta have a, you know, to yeah, rent these uh, units, you have to have a driver's license, you know, motorcycle endorsement, uh, gotta be 21 and over. To right. ride any of these WMA roads, you have to have a vehicle that has a tag and insurance. So okay. no dirt bikes or four wheelers are out. You know. Right, that's good because they don't tear up the roads. Correct. So they, so they do a better job maintaining the roads. That's uh, great. Yeah. Well, uh, and you have campsites here too. Yeah, so, so if people want to come and do some moto camping, they can do that. Right. We have our, our moto ADV camp here. We have 42 acres of land surrounded by two creeks. Uh, it's 1.0 mile from the trailhead, so you yeah. can leave the campground and you ride at the trailhead. Uh, we also have our own. Uh, we call it our own Deals Gap Road, but it's our twisty road <laughs> twisty that follows road. the Canyon Rim Road. So oh, wow. that's a beautiful road. I'll have there's, to come back and check that one out. There's lots of overlooks, there. you know, places to take pictures from, places to go swimming. So uh, there's just a lot to do around. It sounds like it. So if I was just an average guy wanting to get into uh, adventure biking, dual sport, I could come to you and rent one. Yes. see if I like it. Of course, I'd have to have a motorcycle license and right. kind of be trained. So To get your introduction yeah. into some dual sport riding or ADV, this is one of the better areas because it does have some easy trails. Yeah. And uh, and our property has some grassy fields that we can use to, to go over basic skills. You know, you so if you need to learn some basic go. skills, yeah. try That's something great. out before you get on the roads, we can do that here. We're looking forward to later on having a, a women's, you know, riding skills class maybe okay. once a month. That's you great. Know? And uh, we do... Uh, we have a lot of self-guided rides. We have the GPX house on our track. So and we're not busy. We're more than likely to lead you around and show you the place like a like a good local shoot. You yeah. Know? Well, I know you showed me a lot of great places today, and I really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. So, we're glad to have you and the Let's Take back. a Ride group. You know, here yeah. uh, we look forward to a, a great relationship and a partnership. You know, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and, you know, going to each other's rides. Yeah, absolutely. So, folks, if you want to come. Uh, Try out one of their bikes. Uh, they have the XT250 and the Tenere 700s. Uh, take your pick. And where can they find out more about? You have a website? Yes, our website is littlereaver.us. Uh, you can learn all about our rentals there. You can rent any product on our website, okay. littlereaver.us. We're also on Facebook, so it's facebook.com/slash littlereaver.us. Okay. I'll put the links down below. So, guys, you should check them out. It's, it's a great place. A lot of, a lot of good times here. So, we look forward to riding with all of you. Come see right. us. Thanks a lot.